Dee Dee and Mark have been all over the TikTok room. Yeah, I'm like really into Mark. Like, I like Mark a lot. Said, I want to go jump Mark. I want to jump in. What is up, YouTube? JR Stuber, and I'm here with Paradise Dee Dee. So today, we're going to be trying something new. We're going to be talking about TikTok drama, all the stuff going on in the TikTok community. Recently, yesterday, something crazy happened with one of my friends, Josh Richards. He accidentally exposed himself on live and people saw his, his ball busting move. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> yeah, so that happened. That was actually crazy. Like, what do you, what do you think about that? Honestly, dude, I would be embarrassed myself, but at the same time with the whole Tony Lopez thing, you know, like he, I don't know, cause maybe like Josh Richards is hyped too. Like he would make it as a meme. Like he would yeah. care. You know, he's handling it pretty well. He's still posting. He's not really making like a big ruckus about it. Actually, he did post something after that happened. Let me show you, let me show you. Read this. <laughs> But he basically apologized for what happened and that it was like a mistake of his, yo. He said, I want to apologize what happened today during the live. I have responsibility because of the followers I've been blessed with. That's not, I took advantage of that. I'm going to try harder to think before I act. It was never my intention to take to have leaked what have gone shown, but I made that mistake. I understand the consequences. I have made a promise to myself and you guys that I won't let the social media world change who I am. Sometimes I let that confuse me and I try to prove myself by being crazy. I am not going to be constantly bringing this situation up for the mature purposes. I'm going to think about what I've done and learn from it. Thank you to everyone that will always step up beside me and will let you guys do this. Bro, to be honest, that was a good paragraph. Like, a good sorry paragraph. I mean, but that was pretty like, good. sometimes people get either way too. Because that's how I am. Like, you know, you just want to be yourself. You just want to, like, have fun with your friends. Just go no, but I feel like it was an like, accident what happened, though. I don't feel like he wasn't trying no, to. No, I don't think he was trying to be, like, purposely trying to do that. And then on top of that, you have people screen recording and everything. Oh, so. yeah, dude, that's, that's scary. But to be honest, he's going to recover from this. I know he will. Because he. He's just like that. He's the guy, you know? But yo, next, next up. So TMZ also recently posted <laughs> Diego and Lauren. I don't know if they're dating or not, but they accidentally put Lauren's name as Haley. Haley responded, yo. This is what she said, yo. Bro, why can't I not find this? Also, something with T theme. Jared says he's gonna be here at 420. It is currently 5. I was here by 430. No, you were not. So yeah, basically they said it was Haley instead of, of Lauren. They got their names mixed up. I don't know if that was on purpose or if it was an accident just to like spark something. But Haley said, I'm gonna let her read it. She needs to do some of the reading. I don't know who TMZ thinks they are creating false information on my name. I've never participated in the seizure trend to just roll through the streams. Her name is Lauren. I don't even wanna say anything. Curry? I don't know how to say that, bro. I don't know, Lauren and the video with Diego. So basically, like, TMZ was just, like, making, like, I guess they don't have anything else to post. So, like, they're posting about, like, the old Juice World trend that, like, everybody literally did. And they messed up her name, which is actually really weird. They look, he could have just, like, wanted, you know, like, exposure happen. or, like, something like that. And that's why they, they put the wrong name on purpose so one of them would comment on it and make TMZ have more views or something. I don't know. But that was really weird of them, to be honest. I'm surprised uh, Diego didn't say anything about it or Lauren. They didn't? No, they didn't. It's only Haley. That was weird, right? That is weird. I never seen Diego and he didn't hang out. Yeah, but I don't know why they put her name. I wonder if they thought that she looked like her. Probably. But that, that'd be weird. Like, I don't know why they do that. I mean, because, like, Haley does have bangs now. But then again, like, how do you get that mixed up? If you're really doing that research on them, like, why would you? I mean, yeah, because it's all been, like, maybe it's been about Diego and Lauren. Dude, I don't even think I've seen them hung out once. <laughs> Haley and Diego, <laughs> dude, Dever. I don't know who's at TMZ reporting false stuff, but they're probably smoking some good stuff. No cap. Yo, next thing coming up on the TikTok T, you know what I'm saying? We got people talking about Mikey and Danny. Yo, to be honest, I feel like people should just let them be low key. Yeah. Like, like honestly, I know them both. They're both super cool. And if they want to date, you know, let them date. Both love each other that much. I'll support them, you know what I'm saying? I feel like more. That's the bro. And it's more because the thing that happened right before that like they already got hate like it was like so much hate coming from mikey's fan base and then her fan base and then the whole drama of, like the age difference and like i don't know it just started so much drama so i guess like now that people are hearing that they're talking again it's just like why you guys just you know? like trigger like but, but I mean, it is their choice at the end of the day. Like, it's not really up to anybody to, like, tell them what to do. I think they should be together and be happy, you know? Even if they don't want to include it on the internet, which I heard they don't. Like, they're thinking about not keeping it on the internet. They might just do a private relationship. Yeah. Which is not bad. Well, it's kind of already out there, to be honest. Yeah, low-key, but, like... I think they're trying to, like, little by little, like, just Yeah, to see. maybe go back into it. You never know. And for what y'all been waiting for, the DD and Mark situation, yo, 
Dee Dee and Mark have been all over the TikTok room today and yesterday. And I'm pretty sure y'all want to know like what happened. Like, you know, a lot of people don't even know. I'm pretty sure like the situation and they're attacking Dee Dee. But it's a crazy situation, you know. Both of them are my friends, so I don't really have like a huge say in it. We're gonna we're gonna hear Dee Dee's side of the story. <laughs> Okay, so first off, two days before the whole situation happened, me and Mark actually hung out and like we took pictures together like recently. We were like matching unexpectedly and it was so much fun, like we all had fun together and it was for my brother's birthday. And then literally two days after I decided I was bored and entertainment for my fans and uh, you know, like I haven't been active on YouTube so I was like, you know what, let me just do a prank like live on my Instagram. So, okay, that's cool. Let me do a prank. And well, a guy I'm, talk that, uh, guy I'm talking to, his name is just Sam. He lives in LA. Keep that in mind. He lives in LA. Yeah, he lives LA, in like LA. As in not in Texas. Yeah, after that, uh, I went live and I was like, okay, so I'm gonna do a prank on him and I'm gonna say that I'm not interested in him more. I don't like him anymore. And so he was kind of surprised. Like, it, it was so funny at first. He was just like, what's going on? Like, why are you saying this? Why are you not interested in me? And so people started commenting. His fans, Mark's fan pages, started commenting, like, you should say you like Mark. Say you like Mark. Say you like Mark. And everybody knows they ship me more they want to see together they see yeah. yourself so you know i was like all right that would make better like it would make sense if i say that to go along with it and so i was like okay so i said because i'm interested in someone else but before i got to say mark he already assumed it was mark right away because he knows how close me and him are so i was just like why do you think it's mark and he was just like i don't know because y'all hang out together but before that since like a lot of people don't know i haven't seen in life he was saying positive things about mark he was saying like oh mark like it's fine if you if you want to be with him then go ahead be with him like i'm still being your friend you know what i'm gonna be here for you and he was just saying positive things and he's like you know mark is a good guy he has a good heart he's nice and he's respectful so if he makes you happy then i'm happy for you and i was just like it was my fault that i said that because like i kind of wanted to spice things up a little bit more so i was trying to make him mad and i was like yeah i'm like really into mark like i like mark a lot like oh my god like i was just saying that so he was getting mad when you're angry you say things you don't mean and he said i want to go jump mark i want to jump him and stuff and he said i'll drive to la and jump him and and I would just like look at him like damn why but I guess people were getting mad about it because I didn't stick up for Mark and I wasn't yeah. like keep in mind it was a prank you know like it's a prank so I knew it was a prank so of course you know let's say like me and you right we're dating or something right Mm -hmm. And then I'm doing a prank on you and I'm just like, yeah, I cheated on you and stuff. And then you walk out and slam the door. Am I gonna go after you and run after you and be like, like, why the hell you slam the door and stuff? No, I'm gonna be laughing. I'm gonna be like, like, oh shit, like, like, because I know it's a prank. But if it was real, I'd be like, what the hell? Why are you slamming doors and stuff? If I was mad, like, if that actually happened, then yeah, I would stick up for Mark and be like, no, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Why, you, why do you want to jump him for it? Then it'll be a different situation. But since it was but a But you were just like messing with him, yeah, right? I'm just like, messing you were just messing with him, trying to get him mad. Yeah, so like, people, like, already don't like me already like his fan pages don't like me because you know a lot of them say that they don't want us together so the problem was something little and it turned to something big which i mean i didn't know it was, that was gonna happen because it was a joke and it was funny and it was like one in the morning like it was just like funny like i don't know yeah you just like messed around like one yeah in the morning. i was just messing around and people after the live people were texting me like oh it's so funny it was a cool joke like and i was like oh okay and then the next day like i posted a video of me like it's like about hating and it was like a cardi b speech at the like, like a words thing and i like just posted it on like my instagram and it was a weird coincidence how i ended up on tiktok room and it was like talking about like the same situation because that was talking about like hate and i started getting hate because of the whole um i didn't back up mark situation but i felt like i shouldn't be getting hate on it neither should josiah i mean he was heated at the moment i understand and i hope y'all understand as well like like you know we all get mad at one point and we all say things we don't need to say yeah like, like, we, just, like we don't mean sometimes it just happens the only thing you could do from that is learn from it i really do hope that a lot of y'all just y'all understand what i'm trying to say and like i apologize if i offended y'all I, I know i did call y'all annoying but understand like it's like someone keep poking you over and over and over and over again and you're gonna get annoyed by once and I, maybe i didn't word it that wrong and i was just mad and i said that um you gotta understand like y'all like a lot of his fans are telling me to kill myself and like calling me like names that just not like it's not who i am and it kind of hurt my feelings it's not so much because of the hate but because it's like my own friend like he's like a really good friend he's our friend yeah so like for them to come and tell me things and like he didn't really do anything about it like he was letting him it that's what hurt me was like he didn't say anything but now i, I saw he posted that he was sending his fans to like his fan just stop mark also likes to be there for his fandom but it was just a little situation that got a little out of hand you know stuff happens but in the end i'm pretty sure they'll work it out and they'll be friends again it says for me it's honestly gonna take time because you know i guess it's this turned to a big situation that like i can't hang out with someone like so quickly of course like mark is a really good friend to me so i do yeah it's not like they're like you guys are like not gonna be yeah. friends anymore because literally like, we still follow each 
each other and everything. Like, we're not petty and, like, following each other and yeah. stuff. Like, we're so good. It's just, like, I think we just need time to think about it and just, like, just try to move on. just a little bump in the road, and, you know, that happens sometimes. I didn't even argue with Mark. Like, I oh, yeah, y'all didn't even argue, but, like, yeah. it's a situation that got to the media, and the media, like, kind of But the thing, good thing is that, like, my friends didn't go after his friends. Like, they didn't, they weren't barking at each other. Yeah. Like, I think that was a good God. thing. I just want to say that, like, uh, there was a prank again. And I apologize to people that, you know, they took it the wrong way. And I just hope that y'all understand, like, my point of view. Yeah. If y'all are in my shoes, I want y'all to understand, like, how you would be feeling if yeah. you guys are in my shoes. Guys, also something important, guys. I don't know if y'all, like, know what the golden rule is. You always got to treat people, like, how you'd want to be treated. So, also, put yourself in Dee Dee's shoes. Like, if you guys said anything to her that was, like, wrong, I know that you guys are, like, being very supportive of Mark. And, yo, don't get me wrong. That's the bro right there. That's, like, my brother. It was, like, a prank. And it was just, like, for fun. And it was nighttime. It was one. So, of course, I'm tired. And I just, like, you know, was like, okay, like, well. Yes, yeah, so basically, it was, it was a little situation that turned into something big. That shouldn't have been, and I feel like. Cause I did not think I was gonna be end up on TikTok from two. Yeah, months. she didn't expect this. Yeah, I was just like, what? Like, why am I on there? Like, and then I don't like being called a bad friend either. Like, I don't think I said anything bad to be called a bad friend. Like, that was a prank as well too. So. Yeah, sometimes prank gets out of hand. I've learned from that. From the cheating prank. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Matthew, my Matthew was so bad. <laughs> guys, this was us filming a little uh, tea talk video if you guys liked it make sure you guys like comment subscribe let me know if you guys want to see another one from me and oh yeah Dini. wait y'all say some um comments like what else topics we should talk about that we could get that we could should we do this again and like we talk about more tea <laughs> it, it's really up to y'all like whether y'all want to see this again yo hopefully you enjoyed the video but yeah guys let me know if you guys want to see more this is me and Didi, and we are out